Oh, again, is there alcohol in that? Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I'm the Bearded Techie, and this is the Benchmark video. Boom, damn time! If you've got an Intel 9th Gen soldered CPU and you're considering delitting and desoldering it, but you don't know if you're gonna do it or not, consider this. The differences I experienced in temperature between the solder and the liquid metal I replaced it with was plus or minus one degree. If you're not gonna go direct die cooling, it's not worth it. Not worth it. I came here to look at charts and bar graphs. This is a graph of peak temperatures reached on a scale from 0 degrees to 120 degrees centigrade. This graph is comparing the temperatures of the i9 using stock solder with the i9 using liquid metal as the thermal interface material. All temperatures were gathered while using 3.6 gigahertz stock clock as well as a 5.1 gigahertz overclock. This is representative of the overall temperature reduction seen in each test. All figures are rounded to the nearest whole percentage. All for an overall average of a 1% decrease in temperatures. Next up is a graph of peak temperatures on a scale of 0 to 120 degrees centigrade. This is comparing the i9 with the stock IHS and stock solder with the i9 and no IHS, aka direct die with liquid metal. As you can see, once I removed the IHS entirely, that's when I really started to see a higher rate of temperature reduction and greater gains in performance. Coming to an average overall reduction in temperature of 9%. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this helps you decide, you know, yeah, like I said, if you're not gonna go direct die cooling and you're gonna delid one of these 9900Ks or 9700Ks, any of the 9th gen soldered CPUs, if you're gonna delid them and you're not going to go direct die cooling, it's really for nothing. So if you're going to delid, spring for the extra 35 bucks and get the OC frame. Der Bauer makes it. It's a great product and I can totally vouch for it. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. And uh, if you liked what you saw, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and tell me what you think in the comments below.